So, I'll be doing this Grim Creeper path guide. I don't know why I haven't done it before. Hello, Maybe Skylander. it slipped my mind. Are you ready to achieve but we're gonna do it now. To my own? So for now, I'm gonna use my legendary Grim Grim Creeper. So Poltergeist Sight, press Y to knock enemies into the air with a spinning spectral sight. Uh, spirit sight, press X to swing a more powerful sight that does increased damage. Spooky and destroy, press B to go into a ghost form and leave behind living armor touch up to 5 enemies while in ghost form to mark them. Press B again to attack them in them with living armor. Armored armor, living armor does increase damage when it flies back to Grim Creeper. Those, those pointy boots hurt. So, for me, uh, guys, I chose the path of the the uh what we call it the sight instead of the spirit because the ghost thing doesn't really do any damage for me i don't really enjoy that path and it didn't work out for me so honestly to be honest with you guys i haven't tried the other path at all but it looks boring and i didn't want to try it so you guys let me know as always if you have tried that path and if you have chosen that path, because both of my Grim Creeper and Legendary Grim Creeper are on the same path. I haven't tried the other one, and I don't really want to. So, Sphere of Fear. Hold Y for a short time to spin the site in a larger area. Repeatedly hit enemies into the air. And I really like that path. Grave Danger. Critical hit is increased. Concentrated ghost particles make it easy to do more damage to enemies. Ghastly damage. All attack to increase damage for a short time after enemies are hit by the living armor. A uh, help from beyond a ghost light appears after from defeated enemies that will seek out and attack other nearby enemies. And if you have ghost roaster in the past, well, it's funny how to me they... They feel exactly the same, but the ghost thing right there doesn't do it for me. That's the thing I like. So, like I said, uh, both of my legendary and regular Grim Creeper are on the same path. No, actually, it's a light core Grim Creeper. I don't have regular one yet. Maybe I'll use him. I forgot that the regular Grim Creeper never came out. So. Let's do some. Quick battle arena gameplay. So you guys can see. And always let me know if you have chosen the other path, but I'm sure a lot of people cho chose the same path as I chose because the ghostly thing, the press B and spirit damage, I don't think many people chose that for sure. But as always guys, let me know. I love to have the feedback from my fans and subs and everybody. Just One. love some feedback, Fight. always, and I'll try to Stage answer one. as quick as possible. So let's do some quick gameplay. See the ghost damage thing. Eh. It's okay, but it's always an inline thing. I haven't played with him in a while, and I didn't reset him, so... This is my original one. See those little ghosts attacking.
He, he's pretty good. I should actually do some more PvPs, maybe level him up today. He, he wasn't like... I stopped playing with him because all the other ones, some of them are really awesome. So, I promise when I get the regular Grim Creeper, I'll put him on the other path. And then we'll do a comparison for sure. But I'm having a hard time right now. There we go. I failed. So, whatever you guys chose, let me know. So, that was my path guide for my uh, Lightcore and Legendary Grim Creeper. Thanks for